Hello everybody, My2PM here. We have an exciting series of videos coming up with yummy summer treats. And this is all we have to work on. So let's get started with these yummy treats. And today we're going to work on the different flavors of Jello. We have the Olaf Jello, we have the Finding Dory Jello, and we have the Very Berry Frozen Jello from Frozen. So we're going to get a little creative as to where to put this Jello. And I'm going to use this cake pan set that I just got. They got little oval shaped molds, and that's what we're going to use. Just going to open it up, clean it up, and then spray them lightly with Pam spray. Since we're going to do a firm version of this jello, we're going to use three glass cups because it's not going to take that much water. Okay, so let's get started. Here's the Olaf jello. It is from Royale and it's called Summer Berry Punch. And it looks like it's going to be just like ice cubes. Put that in the first cup. Then we have Finding Dory Ocean Berry Blue probably going to be a really deep blue jello. I can't wait to see it. And finally, the Disney Frozen Berry Berry Jello with Anna on the cover. And it looks like a really cool pink color. And now all there's left to do is to add one cup of hot boiling water to each one of these cups. And here we have it. We added one cup of hot boiling water to each one of these cups. And now we just have to stir it really good until all the jello powder dissolves. So here we have our jello all dissolved and done. Now we're ready to mold it. So our molds are here and ready. Now we're just going to pour the jello in. I have some really um, small sheets of this jello all done, so I'm going to pour some in the bottom of a plate, whatever's left over. Okay, so now the hardest part about jello is the waiting. We're going to let it cool down and put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours. Alright, so our jello is set and it's ready to be removed. So we're just going to like pry it off the side of the mold. Seems to be coming off pretty easy and it's already moving. So it looks like I can just scoop it out. There we go. This is the blue one. It looks beautiful and it's firm just like I wanted it. I'm going to set it right over here. Let's do the one for Anna. This is a really dark purple. Set it over here. And finally we have Olaf. Olaf is a clear jello. It smells delicious though. So I thought we would make this interesting as a cool way of displaying these lovely molds, this lovely jello. And we're going to use our magic lip dolls and make some dresses for them. I'm going to use two Elsas just because there's a good Elsa theme here. And we're also going to use Anna for her dress. So let's start with Anna. So I'm going to take a little cutter that I have and just punch the top. Make an opening for Anna to go in. through there. It's okay if it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. I'm going to take this. It's actually a squinkies half a circle. I'm going to take little cutouts from the skirt. This is a cool birthday party idea to either have ready for your guests or maybe it just as an activity to do with your guests. There we go. We gave that skirt some volume. And 
we can use all the remains just for extra decoration. So I'm just taking the inside out of these cutouts. And I'm going to make a ruffle right all around Anna. Now, if you remember, I poured some jello on a plate. So this is what I was trying to get done and to see if we could get a really thin sheet of jello that we could cut. So I am going to give this a try. See if we get lucky here. This purple one might be a little too thin. Should have probably sprayed the, pa the paper plate a little bit just so it's not so sticky, but we're going to make this work to get is a thin cover for Anna's shoulders. Okay, we're going to move Anna back and we're going to work on the blue one for Elsa. And I think for this one I am going to use the short hair, the, the one with no braid. She has her hair, it's not short, but it's her hair is all made up. So I'm going to use my little cutter, take a piece off the center. Cool. Now we're going to take Elsa and push it right through it. Try to make some ruffle to go right around her waist. I'm going to use this leaf cookie cutter to cut the bottom of her dress. some leaf shapes. Okay, Elsa's gown is all done, so we're going to put her back over here and we're going to work on the other gown for Elsa. This was the Olaf Jello. So, let me do my cutout again. All right guys, that about does it. What a fun experiment to do with Jello. Look at all these three gowns. Which one is your favorite? Leave us a comment. Thank you for watching my 2PM. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your friends. We'll see you next time. Make it fun.